Hi, I'm Shubham and I'm going to show you small application based on Ruby on Rails. I have a user authentication system set up here uh, where, a, where a user can sign up and sign in but just now we are restricting the user to sign up. Uh, he can either tell his friend or an admin to invite him then he can join our app. Let's say he requests admin to do that and he is a user 3 at the red app.com. Uh, I am um, using mail catcher because my app is running on localhost. A mail will be sent to admin that mail or uh, we can use any notification system where uh, it will notify the admin that this user want to register on your site. The user can either tell another user to uh, invite him. Let's say user 1 is already using this app. Uh, he can invite user 3 to join our app uh, another mail will be signed to user 3 uh, telling him that please register on invite app he can just follow link and he can fill up the simple sign up form here uh, user 3 uh, the email field will, uh, in email field will already be filled because he is using the main our token and he has already signed up uh, let's see the back end of this thing uh, in user model i'm using ruby on rails so we have mvc model here in user model we have uh, we have similar uh, some functions that will be used for creating the token that will be distributed to the requesting user or an invitee uh, that uh, this three function will create encrypt and uh, sign this token here i'm using simple encryptor encryptor that will be defined as a global variable and just now I have for temporary basis I have defined them in device.rb last two lines uh, the encryptor will encrypt the token and verify will verifier will verify the token or you can say sign it the token here we'll be using a key that will be stored in an end app, uh, app config here I'm, I'm already using the encryptor that is provided already provided by active support an inbuilt message encryptor and verifier uh, after this functions create the token it will be sent via a mailer uh, we have already defined the send invitation mail here and as we have seen the request may admin also the token is sent in the form of a simple url at the bottom of the page you can see a big url coming up that is the token used uh, just now the problem is that the token is 250 to 260 characters long and it is too big to encode it and encrypt it. <coughs> Instead of that we will use a shorter version. I am still working on it. Whenever the user clicks on this registration link, uh, this three function will carry out the rest of the thing. Uh, first we will verify the signature then decrypt the token and then decode it. Uh, we can use the decoding functions uh, on the server or sorry client side also here we are first uh, encrypting the token and then signing it we can reverse order also we can first sign the token and then encrypt the token uh, now let's say a fake user try gets this token and tries to produce a fake token uh, i am just decrypting getting something wrong in the token uh, or uh, exceptions will be raised by decryptor and the verifier respectively and it will be rescued in the invitation controller and it uh, it will just produce a flash notice calling it a invalid or corrupted token as you have seen here and this is all for simple token based registration process thank you for watching the video